Hello and welcome back my space engineers friends. Today I'm going to show you another space station build I made. My name is Craig Diamond. So let's get down to it. Let's get down. Let's get down to it. So this is a very uh, heavy protected uh, space station. It got lots of weapons. It's not made to process ores and stuff. It's more kind of an um, uh, outpost space station. It has around about 27,000 PCU. It, it's movable, it can fly. It's got some iron thrusters, as you can see. So let's take a closer look. We have here four Gatling guns on this side, here four more, and same thing on this side. So we got 16 Gatling guns around on both wings and each one has one or even two welders to repair them in case of uh, damage you know what else we have connectors to connect ships to this station you have here a connector this is made for uh, top connectors <coughs> yeah you go and we have here down here we have on each side uh, not on each <coughs> on this side on Three of the four sides we have connector and for very large ships can connect down here to the station. <coughs> okay. Then we have some small Gatling guns. You have here two, two and up here two, two Gatlings. So eight on this side, same thing on the other side. Then another big Gatling gun up here. You have only four solar panels. Here you can see them. Uh, main power source for this station are two reactors not solar power solar power would not be enough yeah you can read the name of the station here star and over here fort yes what else antenna top here some fancy blinking lights uh, we got cam so maybe I don't know we can uh, fly it remotely or mm, let's check remote control I think I didn't configure it. Oh, yes. Yes, I can fly it remotely. Yes. But uh, more on that later. We will fly it from the bridge. So let's get into the space station. The entry is down here. You have three doors on three sides. Uh, I think above each connector there is a door. Here you can enter or here. Or maybe you are very funny and can enter here. So, let's get into it. We got a medical room, we have here a control panel. Turn off medical rooms for five minutes. So, now it's running, it's green here. So, when we want to turn it off for five minutes, we can uh, push here. So, now it's red, turn it off for five minutes. This is uh, made with two timers. Timer med, we got one timer to turn it off, one to turn it back on. The off timer is set to one second and the, the on timer is set to 300 seconds, I think, yeah. This is 300 seconds or five minutes, so uh, in four minutes and 35 seconds, it will turn back on. <coughs> all, they are all uh, grouped together, all medical and stations and all survival kits from, from the station, so you won't spawn here within this uh, uh, five minute time frame. We, we have the uh, um, safe zone down here. Let's turn it on. Let's convert the ship to a station so we can turn on the safe zone. Um, you know what? I will turn it on. No, I will turn it on now. At least I will try. Safe zone. S -s 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 safe zone. Enable safe zone. Yes, now it's in prepare mode and it will turn on in 1 minute and 10 seconds. Okay. So this is the bottom bottom of the station, and here you can go up. This uh, gateway here has its own gravity. Um, and if you pass here, it turns you back to normal gravity. So now we are in the top par part. This is kind of the core room, core circle. Here we have the front, back side. So this is the right wing. We have here automatic hangar, uh, hangar doors. Left side medical room, right side reactor room. So here's the reactor, we got air vents, we have a sensor for the door. Over here we have the medical room. 
lockers and stuff. We have another control panel. Uh, this is not finished yet. <coughs> then we have the refinery and cryo chambers. Left side is the refinery, big refinery here and two basic refineries here. And over here we have six cryo chambers and on the other wing, same, same stuff. It's all mirrored, so we have a total of 12 cryo chambers. Yeah, what else? The bridge. I'll show you the bridge. It's <coughs> up here, not here, but here. This is the bridge. And now here we are on the very top of the station. We have here two chairs, one to fly. Uh, oh, I can't fly because of the safe zone. Now it should turn on in a second. Now it's turned on. Now it's working, the safe zone. But we will turn it back off again, safe zone, turn it off and convert it back to a ship so we can fly it. Yes, so you have two ways to fly the ship, either like this or you can change seat and take this seat up here and you could fly it like this, like kind of a hammer shark style. Yeah, so what's in the inside? We got lots of gravity gain generators, generators, five gravity generators. We have four basic refineries, two large refineries. We have, as I said, two large reactors. Um, we have assembler, we have two assemblers. Lots of sensors, lots of doors, lots of Gatling guns. Yeah. A remote controls, two remote controls, one for autopilot and one to really control it from remote. Lots of iron thrusters for solar panels, lots of timers, lots of welders to repair all the gaplings. We got the yield modules and the other modules for the refineries and assemblers. And one last uh, thing I want to uh, show you. Uh, I don't like that. So, <coughs> are these two rooms? Mm. Down here, uh, right next to the corner, we have here a front room with a double layered glass here. So this uh, would be the flight direction in norm normal position and we have kind of a watch room, visitors room here on the back with couches. They can have a seat or, or okay, take uh, additional passengers with your trip in case if you fly with this station. So I hope you like the station. Uh, if you want me to load it to the store, uh, tell me. If you have comments, you can write it below the video. Please like, uh, subscribe and share and see you next time.